So how did this project come about? We learned that uh, Santa Fe, New Mexico, mm -hmm. has painted violins. They've been doing this for years through their symphony. So we Googled, actually, and found out this goes on around the country. So we thought, well, Topeka needs to do this, too. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have uh, a passion for the arts and said that I would take this as a project, contact the artists that I know to see if they would participate. It was so exciting because, like I called Ernst Omer and thought, I'm going to have to really talk him into this. He said, oh, well, sure, I'll do that. <laughs> he was just pleased and excited. He was aware of painted violins even before we were. Mm -hmm. So uh, he developed a charming violin for us. You this right? is a crossover. This is combining music and art for me. It definitely is. I used to play with the Topeka Symphony when I was 14. I started playing very young with the symphony. Uh, my teacher wanted me in there right away, and I went to Washburn, and I have a, a violin performance degree. And so my dad was an artist, and we had Meeks Incorporated. We had an art store when I was growing up. And so combining painting and music is the perfect thing in the violins and the painted violins. Is that a way to get back to the symphony? Mm -hmm. Well, I've done several little uh, projects with the symphony before. Uh, last year we did the quick draw, so I was in that. And uh, this year, they, Anita called me and, and uh, wanted to know if I'd participate in the painting the violins. And uh, of course, I think it's a wonderful organization. And so I said, absolutely. And I said, I'm not quite sure that's my shtick, but I said, <laughs> you know, I'll come up with something that that uh, I think you'll like. So um, so from there, we just I just started kind of getting some ideas. and. and uh, I was toying with something kind of graphic because I've done graphic design before, but I felt like it'd be really just um, a good idea to do my traditional work. It just felt felt right to do the more traditional painting as opposed to some sort of graphic design. It was quite challenging to get the little brush strokes and everything, and I, it is painted in oil, so um, it was a challenge, but I, I thought it was a lot of fun. and. Uh, Hopefully, people will enjoy it. Now, I picked one that still had all strings and everything on it, and then I uh, dismantled it, took the strings off the bridge and the chin rest and everything else. I thought that would make it a little easier for me to paint it. And I used uh, masking tape and uh, just uh, started working with acrylic paint, mm -hmm. which didn't take very long. It dries fast, zip off the tape, do some touch up work, and then put all the uh, pieces back together on the violin so it looks like it might be playable. <laughs> I decided I just wanted to use a, a very straightforward uh, composition in black and white, which is what I titled the uh, violin then. Well, Anita called and asked if we would be interested in participating. And I thought about it for about two seconds and said, yes, what a wonderful idea. And of course, I am not a musician, but have had now two opportunities to interact with the music part of the arts. And I love it. I love the chance to do that. Mm -hmm. It's as close as I will ever get because I neither sing nor play an instrument. <laughs> Music is simply beautiful designs on a page to me. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is this is a neat thing. Well, I'm from the old school of form following function, and so the unique design of a violin certainly presented challenges. It, as you say, it is neither rectangular nor square. It isn't even round. It has all kinds of. of interruptions in the picture plane, as it were. So it, um, it caused me to really think in a new way. And I did not want to interrupt the integrity of the violin, mm -hmm. because it is such a beautiful instrument. I decided that uh, flowers would be nice. Of course, people have asked me, well, where is the crow? You know, there's no <laughs> crow in your, on your violin. And I said, I tried the crows, but that didn't seem to work. <laughs> uh, one thing that crows do not have is a beautiful sound. And so I thought that that just wasn't going to work. <laughs> This is really a good example of, of how the arts work together in this community. 
between uh, the symphony and the, and the uh, uh, two-dimensional art uh, people, the, the performing art people and the painters, uh, uh, TPAC, uh, we're the uh, official framer for, for a, uh, Civic Theater now mm -hmm. too, so we do all of their framing. And in return, I think they give us a plug here and there about uh, about that involvement. Just a really good example of the arts working together in Topeka that, that really make this a great arts town. That's mm -hmm. my opinion. Mm -hmm.